favourite places to film steam is on the Settle Carlisle. Settle being only 20 miles from the village of Foliage where we lived. The number of days we were up at dawn, making our way to Settle, were too numerous to count. But whatever the weather, rain, mist, snow, sleet or sunshine, we went. Not being put off by gale force winds, icy roads, driving rain, only roads blocked by snow drifts stopped us. In the final years of steam, the regular BR steam hole trains were as follows. The Long Meg from Long Meg sidings to Witness. This train mainly worked by 9Fs. Leeds, Glasgow Reliefs, hauled by Holbeck's Jubilees. The rail train, which ran north late Saturday afternoons, and was hauled by a combination of 9Fs, Big 8s, Black 5s and Britannia Pacific. A variety of freight, coal and parcels trains, mainly hauled by 9Fs, Big 8s and Black 5s. Specials with a variety of motive power, still running on BR metals. Also one of our favourite trains, the 10 o'clock stopper from Hellifield to Carlisle, stopping at all stations, returning from Carlisle at approximately 4 o'clock in the afternoon. My brother and I were fortunate enough to take a return trip on this train, being hauled north by a Black 5 and returning behind a clan. One can visualise from the action, the efforts of the crews as they battled against the elements to hold their trains over Bleemoor with engines far past the best. Many fitted with snow ploughs, no excuses of leaves on the line or trains cancelled for the salt spillage. I know you will enjoy reliving the sight of steam engines hard at work on the long climb from Settle Junction to Bleemoor Summit and southbound trains climbing up from Kirby Stephen West, up through Malastang, towards and past Wild Boar Fell and finally to Aysgill Summit. Settle station still popular with rail fans and travellers alike, but what a difference in the motive power. Now we return to 1966 and enjoy 131 action sequences. The rail train, double headed with a big 8 pallet in a class 5 away from Aysgill Summit. Five MT on the climb past Wildbore Fell towards Aysgill Summit, crossing Aysgill Viaduct. Steam leaks were commonplace on many engines as the end of steam approached. Black 5 on the climb just below Aysgill Summit with coal empties. Aysgill Summit passing loops and signal box can be seen as the train heads southwards. Class 5, 460 near Aysgill Summit with a southbound fitted freight.
9F210 passing Aesgill Summit with the Lime Train. Nine F below Wild Boar Fell with the Long Meg. This train ran from Long Meg Sidings, just south of Lazenby, to Widnes. Black Five climbing past Wild Boar Fell with coal empties. A Black Five climbing past Wild Boar with the southbound goods. Class 8F 48622, passing through Dent Station with the northbound fitted. Class 5 460, approaching Dent Head with the Lime Train. Jubilee 460, Collapur at Cellside with the Leeds Glasgow on a wet rainy day. Class 5 passing Stainforth sidings with a down freight. An excellent view of the quarry as a back cloth. An 8F280 crossing Cherry Sprout Bridge with an up freight. Standard 4607528 near Cherry Sprout with a local goods. Two standard 75,000 class 460s near Sherry Sprow on snow plows. Nine F two ten O at Sherry Sprow with a long meg. Black 5 travelling north near Sherry's Brow with the Helifield Carlisle stopper. Mm -hmm. 9F crossing Ribblehead Viaduct with long meg empties. Five MT four six O climbing north away from Settle Junction towards Settle with an army special. A nine F with long meg empties south of Settle. Five MT approaching Settle cutting with a down freight. Black 5 with the Helifield Carlisle stopper at Stainforth sidings. Eight F four eight six two two at Stainforth sidings with the Bescott Carlisle. Nine F two ten O near Stainford Sidings with a long meg. 
glimpse of a class 5 near Settle Junction. 5MT passing Ayersgill Summit with an up freight on a very wet day. Drive at 260, number 43120, leaving Kirby Stephen East. Most of the tracks have already been lifted. Four three one two all near Musgrave between Kirby Stephen East and Appleby. Four three one two all with the same train now approaching Appleby. Big 8 near Aysgill Summit with a mixed freight. Five MT crossing Dandry Meyer Viaduct with an up freight. MT climbing Aysgill near Wild Boar Fell on a typical misty day. An INF with a long meg near Malastang. Black 5 460 with an up freight above Malastang. Britannia, 7 treble note 9, Alfred the Great, climbing towards Aysgill Summit. Nine F two ten O with a long meg passing through Kirby Stephen West. Nine F climbing past Wild Boar Fell with a long meg. Big 8 near New Biggin with an up freight. Many of the overbridges on the line were three arched, this being one of the tallest. Big 8 at Kirby Stephen with an up freight. Again, passing through a typical three arch bridge. An 8F below Wild Boar Fell with an up for eight on a misty day.
and ain't earth climbing away from Burkitt through the mist with an up freight. Nine F nine two oh eight nine in Burkitt cutting with a long meg. Five MT near Wild Boar Fell with an up freight. Nine F approaching Burkitt Tunnel with a long meg. Five MT climbing away from Burkitt under a single arch bridge. Nine F with long meg empties near Burkitt. Five MT four four eight seven eight climbing away from Burkitt. Black five with a downfitted approaching Dent Station. Five MT leaking very badly near Aysgill Summit with an up freight. Five MT crossing the small viaduct before Aysgill Summit with a Carlisle Helifield stopper. with a long meg climbing south towards Aysgill Summit and on towards the road bridge over the summit. Five MT approaching Helm Tunnel. Five MT four six O crossing Dandry Mai Viaduct on a frosty morning. Five 
An 8F creates a spectacular sight below Wild Bell Fell in winter sunshine. Five MT approaching Aysgill summit. Five MT at Aysgill summit with an up freight. A 9F on a long meg climbing towards Aysgill summit in spite of the steam leak. Black fire below Wild Boar Fell with an upright. An 8F280 double heading with the Black Five with the rail train at Ayers Gill. Five MT hauling at least fifty wagons past Wild Boar Fell over Airskill Viaduct. Jubilee 45562, Alberta crossing Blee Moor with a Leeds Glasgow. Two nine Fs between Ribblehead and Bleemore with the rail train on a dullish day. Jubilee, Collapur, identified afar with its well-known steam leak on the right-hand side.
further steam haul train can be seen in the down loop through the bridge. Two 9Fs approaching the south entrance of Bleemore Tunnel with the rail train. Frosty 9F, silhouetted with Ingleborough between Bleemore Box and Bleemore Tunnel, with a freight from Bescott. A 9F starting out of the down loop at Blee Moor. Jubilee Class Alberta climbing towards Bleemore Tunnel with a Leeds Glasgow relief. Jubilee 45593 Collapur crossing Riverhead Viaduct with a Leeds Glasgow and on towards Bleemore. Nine F two ten O emerging from Burkitt Tunnel with a long meg. Five MT four six O on the approach to Burkitt Tunnel with an up freight. A black cloud casts a shadow, keeping pace with the train, 
similar to a cartoon film. The Black Five climbing past Walbore Fell on an upfreight. F210 approaching Burkitt Tunnel with a long meg. Nine F near Stainford sidings with the Hunslet Carlisle. An 8F and a 9F leaving Helifield with a train of oil tanks from Haysham. Various combinations of engines work this train, some more will be seen on later videos. An 8F pilots a Britannia with the parcels on Riddlehead Viaduct, this train being diverted off the West Coast main line. Class 5 at Helwith Bridge with a down freight. One of the most spectacular sights on the Settle Carlisle, crossing Ribble Head. Here a Class 5 on a northbound freight. Class 5 drifting down towards Ribblehead Viaduct with an up freight. The sun glinting on the rods as the train approaches the viaduct. Class 8 crossing Dent Head Viaduct with an up freight.
an 8F to 8O leaving the north entrance of Bleemore Tunnel. An 9F with a long meg on Denthead Viaduct. Class 5 460 in Dent Cutting with an up freight. Class 9F 210 emerging from Burkitt Tunnel with a long meg. Nine F with a long meg below Wild Boar Fell. Spectacular sights as this are gone forever. Nine F and Britannia leaving Bleemore Tunnel with the rail train. Nine F two ten O crossing Denthead Viaduct with an up freight. Black 5 460 climbing past Wild Boar with the parcels. A 9F 210 climbing towards Aesgill Summit with a long meg. Snow can be still seen on Wild Boar Fell. Nine F two ten O with a long meg at Dent Station. Spot the obligatory photographer on the signal. An eight F with a coal train at Helwith Bridge on a frosty morning. Climbing towards Horton in Ribblesdale. Five MT Black Five in Burkett Cutting with an up freight. Serve the right hand side of the bridge, blackened by trains climbing south. Nine F climbing past Wild Boar Fell with a long meg. Again, the right hand side of the bridge is blackened. A 
9 f and a big 8 approaching Blee Moor with the rail train. Class 5, 45390, leaving settle with a Carlisle fitted. Class 5, 45390, above Horton in Rivelsdale, with Penny Ghent in the background. Wagon behind the engine, the old style cattle truck. Four five three nine oh, now passing cell side. Four five three nine zero near Ribble Head Cottages. The fierce wind whipping the exhaust westwards. We chase this train as far as possible, being halted by snowdrifts. Class five with a Carlisle Hellifield stopper near Cellside. Eight F two eight O crossing tent head viaduct with an up freight. Snowplow in action. This shows our determination to film at all costs. Black 5 crossing Arnton Gill Viaduct with a Carlisle Hellerfield stopper. An INF 210 crossing Arnton Gill Viaduct in a blizzard. MT 460 entering Bleemore Tunnel with an up freight. Five MT 460 leaving Bleemore Tunnel with a down freight. Seventy five thousand four six O's on snowplow duties. Black five leaving Bleemore Tunnel with the Hellifield Carlisle stopper. Big 8, 280 passing through Dent Station with the Bescott Carlisle.
Big Egg to Ator climbing towards Erzgill with an up freight. Snowdrift still lying on the hills. Black Fire 460 running light engine and van over A's Gill. A4 6307 Sir Nigel Gresley climbing south of A's Gill below Wild Roar Fell with a special. F280 leaving Bleemore Tunnel with a northbound freight. A 5MT460 crossing Ribblehead Viaduct, the train being dwarfed by the viaduct. MT460 with a freight near Hellwith Bridge. Jubilee 45593 Collapur leaving Bleemore Tunnel North. Stania Class 5, 460, climbs towards Ribblehead Viaduct with a freight. NF210 with a freight near Ingba. Jubilee 45562 Alberta crossing Ribblehead Viaduct with a Leeds Glasgow. NF210 with a long meg empties at Stainforth Sidings. Jubilee 45593 Collapur. 
with the Leeds Glasgow at Stainford Sidings. Jubilee Alberta at Horton and Ribblesdale with the Leeds Glasgow. Four five five nine three Collar Pert with the steam leak engine getting worse on a Leeds Glasgow near Langcliff. A4 Sir Nigel Gresley crossing Bleemore. Now passing the loop, signals, water tower, signal box and cottages. Four five five nine three Collapur with a Leeds Glasgow at Helwith Bridge. Britannia passing Bleemore with the parcels. Strong gale force wind whipping water off the tank on the tower and wetting the tracks below. A46007, Sir Nigel Gresley, passing north through Bleemore on a special, ourselves having to shelter in the lee of the bridge. Seven double O one three Oliver Cornwell at Horton in Ribblesdale with an enthusiast special. Five MT four six O, approaching Ribblehead Viaduct with a northbound freight. Britannia Pacific crossing Bleemore on a frosty morning with the northbound freight. Nine F with a long mega dent. Class five swings round the curve into dent with a freight for Carlisle. And finally, a glimpse of Clunk Castle with a special climbing away from Horton in Ribblesdale. 